All right, y'all, it's Kentucky Renaissance, man. And we have got a really cool toy. This is our new Loftness six foot wide mulcher head that goes on our 620B case machine that we featured a little while back, the TB620B. And we've got this new mulcher head for it. I'm gonna try to go grind up a stump it's like four or five foot diameter. It's been out here on my field, pasture field, for quite a while. And I'm sure that it, uh, it's not really designed for that, but anyway, it'll be fun. We'll go grind it up, see how it does. But anyway, TV620B case machine, 100 and 115 horsepower, weighs 16,800 pounds. And then we've got this six foot wide, uh, they call it a battle ax skid steer loft nest mulching head and i have i have the hardened chipper t with the uh depth uh i guess you call them depth controls on there but they're not rings let me see what gets down here for you so this has the chipper teeth and then it has depth control rings lined up between chipper teeth and offset on the back of every one of them but they're not like solid rings like you have on a on a uh, lot of the mulcher heads. So it can be pretty aggressive, but this depth control will keep it from being too aggressive. All right, let's go try it out. We are nearing the end of the molten process here. She's getting the remaining of the stump that's been here for years, years and years. He's just mulching up in small, tiny, tiny pieces.
are nearing the end of this project. As you can see, it just annihilated that stump right there. Totally flattened it. Uh, this should be good for the sheep, wherever they are. There, there, down there, but just destroyed it. There it is. Whole tree right here we're standing on. It's, I mean, it's, that was crap. I mean, it just destroyed the song. The uh, finish is pretty good. Look how small all this stuff is. Yeah, I know. We'll wait till that thing winds down. It takes a while for it to wind out. We'll wait till it winds down. We'll see how the teeth did and stuff. Yeah. So the only thing we ground with it was, what, five minutes playing with that stump yep. right there? Yep. This is our first real thing to grind up manly thing to grind up so a little learning curve i've never run one of these things so the you know you got to figure out how much time it takes for it to recover but it doesn't it doesn't turn a lot when it's we're spinning like this it's showing like zero psi on the gauge when you are hard cutting like actually the hardest cutting was back dragging i noticed it spiked to like four thousand on there but when you uh when you're cutting on that stump, it was running like 2,000, and it would maintain it pretty good unless you really, you saw how it dug in uh -huh. a couple times yeah. where I hit that whole thing, but yeah. that stump was like five foot across. Yeah, it was. It was, it was laid across there. That's like good. Yeah. It barely took paint off of them, look at that. Yeah, there's some little, little chips and stuff in them, but I don't know. It, so, Supposedly you can run this thing for half a day basically and then you just take your angle grinder And while it's sitting like this just buzz it off and just put a little little sharp edge back on there but a lot, It's the same machine just wider a little bit bigger pump or a little bit bigger motor But the six foot just gives you a broader spectrum when you're back dragging and cover up I know most machines can't cover can't handle the six foot. Track, yeah, you know but well, I got bored of that big stump. Now we're headed over here to this little stump by this big tree. There we go, right here. tougher on the on the back portion of the trunk right here these redwood trees I mean they are Two minutes, maybe, just to destroy that, that, that stump right there. Level it. He's gonna backtrack like he did over there. Um, and a pattern. So, well, like I said, stay tuned. 
we'll catch up with y'all when we're across the road and I'll, I'll give y'all a little uh, view of the brush pile that's going to destroy.